Well, some schools that take pride in feeding kids a balanced diet now find themselves facing a food shortage and scrambling to adapt. KCTV 5 is your school authority, and Betsy Webster is live for us now in the Northland to explain. Betsy, what, what is causing this? Well, you remember how COVID caused supply chain challenges with grocery stores and restaurants. Well, now it's schools getting hit, not just here at the North Kansas City School District, but across the metro and even the nation. Five-year-old Miles Livingston gets a balanced diet at home and actually likes the healthy stuff. What are your favorite foods to eat at school? Um, pineapple. His mom is now concerned that won't happen in the cafeteria. Making sure families have adequate food is huge, and especially if kids can't get that at home. We are definitely in crisis mode, and it's just pure chaos. We're trying to find the food. Jenna Knuth is North Kansas City Schools Director of Food and Nutrition Services. Not being able, able to offer a fruit and vegetable is absolutely heartbreaking. She says kids in North Kansas City Schools are not going hungry, but menus will change on the fly. No carrots? Okay, corn. Or one day, maybe no veg at all because they're struggling with distributors. Cisco, another one of our big distributors, um, backed out the week before school started. They dropped us. North Kansas City Schools sent an alert to parents today, but they're far from the only district in a pinch. Blue Valley told us they're managing with the occasional substitution. Hickman Mills said substitutions will be common. Liberty Schools had a more urgent message. They said they're especially struggling with juice and milk and encouraged parents to send kids to school with bottled water. Knuth recognizes distributors are short drivers to deliver, warehouse staff to stock the trucks, in addition to getting shorted by manufacturers, also in a staffing bind. She knows demand surged when schools brought kids back to the classroom full time. But she speculates there's a priority problem as well. So the K-12 market has much lower margins. We do a much higher volume, but with much lower margins. Um, profit, margins. profit margins, yes. Now she's trying to get government officials to come up with some sort of incentives for distributors to get them to prioritize school contracts. We did reach out to Cisco and they sent us a statement that reads in part, Cisco regrets that we have had to delay or pause service for a limited number of customers in various locations. Now they attributed that to uh, unprecedented staffing shortage. They said they're aggressively recruiting and that they expect this all to be temporary, but they did not respond to any of the specific specifics I had approached them about with the K through 12 school contract concerns. Live in the Northland, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Very interesting and scary too in a way.